The history of Rahm Emanuel's tenure as mayor of Chicago might well be stained by the death of Helen Morley. Helen Morley was a resident of Chicago Public Housing, an advocate at her housing project, and an advocate of those suffering from mental illness. But she was just a born activist, and she would show up and you know do whatever she could on housing and mental health and all different issues, but she was really reliant on this mental health city, public mental health clinic that she attended, and she had a really strong relationship with her therapist there and with the other clients there, and she literally needed that, um, in her mind, and it sort of ended up being true, she needed that base of support, um, literally, to survive. Helen herself struggled her entire life with mental illness and for 15 years availed herself of the Beverly Morgan Park Mental Health Clinic on Chicago's southwest side. The Beverly Morgan Park Clinic was one of six mental health clinics slated for closing by Rahm Emanuel in 2012 as a cost-saving measure. But for Helen Morley and others like her, it wasn't so simple. I gotta go all the way to the south side, I live on the north side, and I'd be in the hell of a disaster and a mess Helen Morley faced down Rahm Emanuel in person, including at a protest held at the city of Chicago's 175th anniversary celebration at the Chicago Historical Museum. So at this birthday party, uh, the mayor was there, you know, celebrating and shaking hands and stuff, and she made her way through the crowd saying, you know, please listen to me. If you close my clinic, I'm going to die. And she was literally saying, please, Mayor Emanuel, um, you know, even giving him the respectful, you know, title of Mayor Emanuel, um, uh, listen to me and he made he didn't even um, make eye contact with her you know he literally did make a run for it out the door and cut the event short the exit was so abrupt that the cake at the celebration was left untouched Rahm Emanuel power broker multimillionaire politico couldn't confront a spontaneous protest about life and death Rahm Emanuel cowardly ran away from a small group of people who were simply asking to leave things be three months after the protest Helen Morley died of a heart attack at age 56. No direct connection can be drawn between the clinic closure and Helen Morley's death, but her friends acknowledge the trauma resulting from the clinic closure pushed Morley's ailing body past the tipping point that resulted in her heart attack. Could Rahm Emanuel be an accessory to the death of Helen Morley?